Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate supination and pronation which are special movements involving rotation of the forearm. Your forearm consists of two bones. You have the radius which is on the lateral side of the forearm in the anatomical position and you also have the ulna which is on the medial side in the anatomical position. During supination the distal end of the radial bone is going to rotate around the ulna in a lateral direction. Now lateral rotation is away from the body's midline so this motion is going to look like this. And I like to pay attention to the thumbs because the thumb is on the same side as the radius. Hence when you check a radial pulse you're checking just below the thumb right here. So when you look at the thumbs, and if you imagine there's a midline going down my body, like kind of in line with my necktie, watch the thumbs, and as it's rotating away from the midline of the body, this is supination. In contrast, pronation is the opposite movement. Here, we're going to see the distal end of the radial bone rotate over the ulna in a medial direction. So medial means towards the midline of the body. So now we're going to see those thumbs point towards the body's midline. Some people also like to look at the orientation of the palms of the hand to help them determine whether supination or pronation is occurring. So if I put my arms down like this and you look at the palms of my hands, supination is going to result in that lateral rotation of the radial bone, which is going to leave your palms facing forward or anteriorly. And this might look familiar because this is exactly their orientation in the anatomical position. However, if my elbow were flexed about 90 degrees, now what's happened? The palms are facing up. In contrast, pronation is going to have the palms facing the opposite direction. They are going to face posteriorly or toward the back in the anatomical position. Or if my elbow were flexed about 90 degrees, then pronation is going to have the palms facing down or inferiorly. Now let me give you a really simple mnemonic to help you remember these two movements. You see this girl right here at the store? She has to pronate to pick up her produce. So you have to pronate to pick up your produce and when you want to eat it for supper, you supinate and bring it to your mouth. Or if you want to take a multivitamin, you have to pronate to pour and you have to supinate to catch the supplement. Okay, that wraps up this video over supination and pronation, which again are special body movements that you will learn in anatomy. We have a free quiz that you can take on our website. Just click the link in the description below. We also have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might find helpful, so check those out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.